Hello, everybody. I would like to once again welcome you back to the goalie be a pro. Um, these lights hit a lot harder at 6 a.m., <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll get through this, you know? Yeah, let's go ahead and try to get some wins going here. Our stats aren't the best currently, but we are getting wins as a team, which is nice. I mean, Mike Smith is doing a lot of the heavy lifting right now. But uh, this is our current offensive lineup on defense. We've got this going on. And then in net, obviously, Jimothy with Smith. All right. So there you have it. And we have some totally realistic expectations for a 71 overall 17-year-old goaltender given to us courtesy of head coach. Thanks for that. And... I guess we could view the stats, just see how the team's doing overall. McDavid has 29 points in 27 games, so he's doing well. Kane with 23. Dreisaitl only 18, and he's a dash 7. That's not good. What's going on, Dreisaitl? He has 94 overall. Holy crap. And then we got Hyman with 18. Ryan with 16. This guy is still doing good, even though he's only 79 overall. All right, so there we have it. Yeah, let's uh, go play some games here. Benson currently out with an injury. Unfortunate. So we're in against the Kraken here, who are currently last in the league with a record of 8, 17, and 4. So hopefully this goes well, but normally these are the ones that don't go well. We'll see. First period. Um, yeah, they only have four shots, but at least it's only one goal. Second. Okay, there we go. That's more like it. Let's jump in and see if we can steal this game away from the Kraken here. In the third period, I think we can do it. The Kraken gets in the zone first here, and for some reason, TJ didn't want to pick that up, but it worked out, so that's fine, I suppose. McDavid already in over the line here, and he is getting swarmed. That was <laughs> crazy to watch. They're clearly targeting him. Barry will receive the pass from yours truly after making a mitten stop. Now Kane is in. Takes a shot. Oh my, what a pass by McDavid. Are you kidding me with that? Behind the back? I gotta see a replay of that. That was disgusting. The heads up play by McDavid to get it back to Evander Kane. He's gonna bury that one easily. Yeah, Dreger did not stand a chance. That was basically a guaranteed goal right there. He had the whole net. What a beauty. That was a great goal. Okay. That was a... Very, very solid way to start the third period. Hopefully we can keep that up here. Larson, man, those slap shots are so scary. They are literal bullets. That is what it feels like anyway. Here comes Eberle. Goes across to Larson, who's going to take a slap shot. And I'm not playing that out. I wanted to, once again. I really did. But he used some hardcore restraining powers to prevent myself from letting go of the... Is it R2 on PlayStation? Because I know on Xbox, which is what I used to always play, it was uh, RT. But I think for PlayStation... It might be R3. No, I think R3 is clicking in the analog. So I'm going to say it's R2. Because I'm pretty sure that's what it was for PlayStation 2. And that's what I remember the most. So hopefully it hasn't changed. Giordano passes it up to Wenberg. And here come the Kraken again. Nice hit in the middle there, and a good step up, but McCann still has it, able to walk through, and I just get a pad on it there. Now Larson, or Giordano, goes to rip on from the point, and it won't get through. Five minutes into this third period now, and so far the Oilers definitely playing well as a unit here. It's looking good. Hyman takes a shot. That will be saved on the glove. Yeah, I'm liking the way this third period's going so far. Good job, everyone. They managed to pick it off. Alexiak stepping in. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to pass it. I once again had R2 held down, but I did not let go of it. I'm getting good at that. The restraint is coming a little bit easier now, but I still want to pass it out, you know, if it's not crazy stressful every time. So I don't want to get a million whistles in the third period. What is that giveaway? An absolute rookie move from whoever passed that puck. Tanev gets his second of the game. I'm pretty sure he got the Sim one as well. It, actually, I think it just told me on that little pop-up thing, but I wasn't really paying attention to it. Regardless, it is now 2-2 after a bad giveaway. And honestly, 
Not the greatest save attempt, I guess. I feel like position-wise I was okay, but perhaps not. Well, I would like them not to score anymore. I'm not letting you get the hat trick. Get out of here because that would mean that the whole let in... Oh! Well, that's not happening, clearly. Let in two goals now. Colin Blackwell gonna be there. And that will make it 3-2 Kraken. Amazing. Here they come again. Gord with it behind the net. Passes it back to Fleury in the middle to Eberly. And now Alexiak with it. Oh my goodness, I don't like this at all. This is terrifying. Oh! Pop fly? And Pugliarvi just catches it, but gives it right up to Gord. Thank you, Darnell Nurse. Legendary defensive play there. And now, just doesn't want to get in over the zone for some reason. Not sure what he was doing there. Oh, McDavid laying a big hit too. Let's go. And now he gets the puck, takes a shot. That will be stopped. So we are now over halfway through this third period. We are down by one now, unfortunately. After two... Not so great goals, definitely preventable goals, but we're here nonetheless, so let's make it work. We could get another goal, definitely. Schwartz goes in the middle to Gord, who kind of loses it crossing the blue line, and Dreisaitl will be there with another giveaway! There we go, save that. Man, what are we doing? All I'm going to say is we're going to have a whole lot of promise failures soon. Unless somehow next game we can only let in one goal, or we only let him one goal, I mean, then we'll be alright for that one. But the whole save percentage thing, that is just a no-go. Yeah, not gonna happen. I've definitely been trying. You know, I feel like I've been making some good saves, but it's just one goal really kills you. That's all it takes. Jared McCann, he's in over the line, goes back to the point man who spins off, gets it to Giordano. That will be shot from the point as well. And the defense for the Edmonton Oilers get it out. But we are, we're kind of being dominated here. I'm going to be honest. Things aren't looking so good anymore. We came out of the gate flying and we cooled off real quick. Screw it. There you go. Keith receives the biscuit from TJ. And that will be offside. 417 remaining. Still down by one. And we have one goal away from a hat trick here for Tanev. I'm not letting that happen. I'd rather anybody else on the Kraken score right now. I don't like getting hat-tricked on. I don't know if you could tell that from, you know, <laughs> everything I've been saying in this be a pro. Well, I guess this is the first time it's happened in this be a pro, but the uh, previous goalie be a pro, and I think even in the NHL 21 be a pro. I would rather get scored on like eight times by different people than get hat-tricked on by one person. They're in over the line again. Schwartz went to wind up for a slap shot there, but Yamamoto is all over him, not letting that happen. Let's go. We need a goal here. We have two minutes left to tie this thing up. Trees are gonna make a save on the short side attempt there. And yeah, the two minute warning is right around the corner, one second away. We got McDavid out there, which is good. We do need a goal. Thank you for telling me that. Come on, boys. Big draw win. Nice shot. But Alexiak going to be there for the rebound. And he will forward it to Yarncrook. He's going to spin back. McCann over the line. He will have it taken from him. But the Kraken fight for it and get it right back. Yarncrook, again, a great move. Ends up getting it in the slot. I'm going to pass that out to Pujarvi. Who puts it up to Nurse. And now over to Kane. Alright, I'm getting pulled. Get me out of here. And let's get the tying goal here, fellas. We can do it. Get me off. Yep. Pujarvi! He was in... What happened? He was in front of the net all alone. And I don't even think he got a shot off. And now that there's been a whistle, I can't do the overhead view anymore. Amazing. I just have to sit here and watch it like this. 35 seconds. Nice pass to Dreisaitl who gets a shot off and a big save again. Come on, guys. And then another giveaway. We've been doing a whole lot of giveaways here tonight. Gord just misses the net. It's off the backboard to McDavid. And now the Oilers streaking back the other way again. We got all the big pieces out there right now. If we're going to score, they're the ones that are going to do it. Oh, man. He missed again. He actually missed again. Nurse up to dry saddle. We got four seconds left. McDavid in the middle to Pujarvi. He's got a break and he gives it away again. What are you guys doing out there? Holy crap. All right, that was, 
I mean, not the worst game in the world. Not the best one either. They did end up having 31 shots, though, so... I still think I played all right. And... Overall... I mean... Just, uh, yeah, disappointing. Stuck in the mud as a team out there. Uh, Brendan's in Burlington. Stuck in the mud. That? Yeah, I mean, the team's been good this year, but, like, I'm starting to worry. Like, thoughts are starting to creep into my head. I'm like, do we have a reliable... Panic button. Like, do we? I don't know. Well, you know what? You look at the fact that he is a rookie, and at times... you. I did fine. More, and then there's times where you're just reminded he's a kid. Yeah, yeah. Right? I know, but he's got to, like, figure out a way to push past this because, what? you know, we're trying to get somewhere. Yeah, you know what? He's had well, then don't have me on the team, clown. The guys in front of him, and I think at some point that performance on his part has to kind of meet them halfway, and it's not quite there yet. Appreciate oh, zip it. All right, let's check in on the tech. Just getting ripped on left, right, and center here. I don't deserve this. Okay, we're in for the Kings. They are 14-15-1. Um, apparently all the challenges are gone. Never mind. We need to let in one goal this game in order to satisfy that one challenge. And the 935, that's not happening. But, uh, right now we have an 880 and a 369. So, just to improve on that would be good in and of itself. So, first period, yeah. So, that challenge is done. Second period, all right. I'll take that. We've got 20 shots apiece, more or less, and two goals apiece. So, let's jump in. To another tied situation here in the third period and see if we can come out with a victory this time. I have follow in early here, but good defensive play to not allow the shot. Let's go, Oilers. Over to Kane. Nice try. Kobitar is going to step up and lay the body. I have follows in again. He's going to get rocked by Nurse. I feel like Nurse is the one that stopped him earlier too. So he is absolutely all over I have follow right now. Has his number. Arvidsson with it on the boards. And he is coming in. He has a good shot. I got to be weary of that. All right. Pugliarvi's got it. And he is skating up the ice on the wing to McDavid, who is going to get stepped up on by Edler. And now there's a battle along the boards. Okay. So let's go here, Oilers. Come on. Let's get some momentum going. Hasn't been a whole lot of offense at all yet. And we get a power play. Amazing. Amazing. That is incredible. He just body checks you, referee. Come on now. That's got to be at least a 20-game suspension. I'm just sitting here hoping to get some team play. I'm hoping they dump the puck down the ice. I can waltz on out and make a lovely pass right to the defender that is standing two feet away from me. <laughs> no, it came out of the blue line. Okay, so not the hottest start to this power play. In the middle to Dreisaitl, who gets a nice shot off. I like where he was going with that one, but quick was quick and managed to stop it. Matthews has the most goals in the league right now. Do you think he's going to hit 60 this year, IRL? It's possible. I was talking to my friend about this the other day. He's on pace for it, so he definitely could. Yeah, here we go. No, Bouchard! Okay, here we are. Change the camera. Pass that over to you. The easy play. Just stick to the basics. We got it to Hyman, and now we are in over the line, and Kempe is going to hustle back and take that from our guy. Like, super easy seeming. Okay, I'll just give that to you, because you're open. Ryan has it in the middle. Doesn't do a whole lot with it. In fact, if they stole that puck off of you and skated out in front of this here net, we would have had a discussion. I would have been very upset with you, but he managed to keep it. Pull Yarvi gets rocked. I don't know who that was, but holy, that was a big hit. Nice try there with the shot. Not able to score, though. Now Walker gets dropped like a two-foot putt. How's that a penalty? Charging? Come on, grow up. There's no way that's charging. Well, we got a penalty to kill here, folks. I think we can pull it off. I've done it before. Have I even... I think I've faced, like, maybe one shot so far. And there's number two. Maybe. I could be wrong. Athanasiu, playing defense, gets it over to Moore. And now Philippe Dano in over the line. In the middle to Brown. He takes a glove side shot. Glove side shot. Does that make sense? Glove shot side. Okay, that's what I thought I said, but I didn't. So it's what I said the first time was right. Arvidsson's in over the line again. In the middle to Kopitar. Where is it? Where is it? Thank you. That was terrifying. I hate those scrums in front of the net. I'll say it now and I'll say it again. 
They are terrifying. You never know when the puck might pop out, which side it might pop out on. It's just so unpredictable. So yeah, those are the worst. It's almost as bad as when they have a player walking out from the corner. I mean, now I can kind of poke check it, which I tried to do last game. Didn't really work. Oh, no. Is this a breakaway? Kind of. I fall. Oh, he actually did it. What a mad lad. That was a sick move. And he almost had me beat as well. But managed to keep it just wide. And yeah, that's a pretty good... Wait, did we kill the penalty? Is it done already? It is. We're not shorthanded anymore. Perfect. Thank you for that draw win. Let's get the puck out of our zone. And we do it. Kane with a deke. Nice shot, man. We're getting a lot of good chances here. But quick is up to the challenge. In the middle to McDavid who meets Irene. Are you serious right now? Man, we're getting so close. That's going to be stopped. Yeah, you're open over there. You're open, RV. For sure you are. He gets it up to McDavid who just stops and lets them take it. I don't know what's going on, boys, but we got to get our act together here. We got to smarten up because this is not the way we should be playing. I have followed with it in the middle again. He's going to get rocked. I feel like that's like the second or third time he's been dropped this game. McDavid again making a slow approach. No! Another chance that is so close but just won't go. No, don't let him just walk in like that. Thank you. He basically let him walk right past. And then he got a lucky play in there with his twig to sort of hook it back towards him. And that would alleviate that situation. But it would have, you know, never came to that if you didn't let him just walk by you in the first place. Let's go, Nuge. Let's go. He's stopping up. Great pass. Keith all alone. Okay, we still scored. I was going to be so upset if we didn't score there. Keith had the forehand shot. Easy peasy. And he just didn't take it. But Zach Hyman's going to bury it on the doorstep here. I was too busy being shocked. I didn't really see how this went in. Oh, he just literally picked it up and shot it. Okay, cool. Well, we're winning now. That's nice. It's better to be up than, w up than one. <laughs> I can't talk. I can't talk. But I'm sure you guys know that by now. You're just used to it. So, it's better to be up by one than down by one. I'll tell you that for free. Arvidsson is going to have his shot prevented from a back-checking McDavid. That's... A good defensive play that we need from our forwards there. Kane goes for a pass. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Is it going to bounce out to a point? I'm not going to risk it. I'm not doing it. I want wins here. And I think if they don't score, which, again, that's a massive assumption, save percentage might look all right this game. In fact, it would look pretty good. Save that. Thank you, McDavid, for being there again. Under five to go. And this third period has been a success up till this point. But that doesn't mean that we can't absolutely blow it in the last five minutes. Dustin Brown in the middle. What a shot block. Holy crap. Take him up for the team. And then Dusty Brown gets leveled. Great stuff from the Oilers defensively. They have been really helping me out here in this period. And I appreciate you. No giveaways right in front of the net like last game. Not going to name any names, even though I, I actually don't know who did it, so I'm really not going to name any names. I didn't uh, go back and look at the replay or anything to see who made such a horrendous play. I just let it slide, you know? And now this game, they are really stepping up and helping me out back here, and it's awesome. So they're probably going to pull their goalie very soon, which is going to give them the man advantage, and I'm not looking forward to that. The final minute pressure... Is going to suck. Doughty. Oh, has it taken from him. Now Hyman pinning it in the corner trying to waste some time here. And he is succeeding. Hyman has it now. Walks out. But Doughty will get his stick in the way. 38 seconds left. Oh my goodness. What a hit. Where's the puck? There it is. Pass that out to you. Come on, Keith. Here we go. Their net is empty. Kane with it. Just get out of the zone. That's our number one priority right now. Get it over. That freaking blue line. <laughs> Immediately. Another risky pass in the middle. Not a fan. But I guess it did work. Tricidal changes when the puck is right in front of his face. Okay, 10 seconds. And Kopitar coming in. Saves that. 
This is not good. This is not good. Edler gets a weak one on net. I think that's going to do it. That does it. Wow, that was a stressful last 60 seconds. But we pulled it off. How many shots did they end up with? 27. So we had a pretty good save percentage there. I will take that. I doubt we got one of the three stars. I follow. Oh, we did. We're Yeah. A 926 save percentage. And second star of the game. Timothy Jimothy. How's that, Brendan or Brandon, whatever his name is? Thanks very much for that Thank you. There. Uh, back to the phones we go. We got Brendo in Burlington. Brendo. Welcome back to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. And a goaltending performance. That Amazing. B overall. I watched this team night in, night out. And this is the type of consistent We're up to an 8.86 now. You know, kind of bringing it back. Well, it's, a, it's a nice W, right? And for a kid who's kind of had a bit of a wonky sort of start to the year, he's I haven't been doing that bad. Go in the direction you hoped. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm just hoping that he can keep it up. Well, I think he really needs to if we're not going to have a shot this year. I think you and about 20,000 others in the arena. I'm not the starting goaltender here, guys. The road. Uh, all right, let's take a quick break. We'll get up more. I am the backup goaltender. And I am 17. I mean, let's chill. Fans caught up on all the action You're going to catch us up there? The Oilers faced off with the Is this just another promise failure? Edmonton played a tight one, and they were able to pull it out in the end. He doesn't look too upset. The Jets took to the road to match up with oh. the Stars. Dallas taps okay. into another gear and pick up the two points in Neutral. the win. The Avs were on the road to take on the So we're Sabres. going in Buffalo for this game, I'm guessing. Actually, knowing this game, we're probably not. We're probably not in for it. We got to take a quick break, but we got a lot more coming your way. Quick next. little break, never hurt anyone. All right, so let's see here. We are, we are in. Okay, I just, no, James, I've had enough of you for today. Yep, we are 18, 8, and 6. We are 7th in the league, so the team's still doing good, but Calgary's also doing well. They are one spot above us. It's the Battle of Alberta, and they're starting me. <laughs> I mean, I'm down. I'm in. It's going to be a good game, hopefully. But, yeah, they do look scary right now. Sixth in the league. But you know what? We're equally as scary. We're right there as well. So, yeah, we are now at an 886, 347. Kind of bringing it back around, as I mentioned. Pieces are starting to fall into place here. We're getting some solid games going. So, yeah, I'm liking the way this is going so far. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you could leave a like, that would be great. If you could sub, that would be even greater. And if you already are, I appreciate you. Thank you. And yeah, I will see you soon.